What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Insurmountable, episode number nine with me, Gamer Noob. If you haven't watched the last episode, go watch it because I'm getting ready to spoil how it went. That's your warning. Here we go. We won. We got the third mountain with the journalist. It was awesome. Oh my goodness. We did it. And everyone in the comments pretty much said, hey, don't torture yourself with hard, but we definitely want to try to see the other two people's stories. So you know what we're going to try to do? We're going to give it our best shot and see the other two people's stories. Do I think I can do it in one shot? No, no. Do I think I might be better than I once was? Yeah, yeah, I do. Let's go ahead with the adventure. Um, we have already read this, so we will start reading again on the second mountain. But, yeah, if you want to, uh, read it, go ahead and pause it. We have already done so, though. It's firm snow. And rough terrain. Uh, stable ice, but blizzard. I'm gonna go with the unusual phenomenon. I just like the, uh, the discoveries, man. You guys know me by now, as the discoveries are so good, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, things we've learned. Beating that mountain. Explore a lot on the bottom. Use your abilities. There's very good abilities that we're going to be looking for. Let's begin. Okay, so. Step one, remember all the controls. Also, big thing we have definitely learned is plan your your clicks instead of just clicking like over here and scaling like big steps right like actually i mean that's a perfect route because it's all one steps but if it wasn't then you would want to do like you know you want to be like oh well, if that was like a two or something you'd be want to go around but like since it's not you can just go straight up and stuff it's perfect though all right let's go and we're not really losing tomorrow's a cold or tomorrow is a storm day so we are going to keep this corrugated we're definitely going to take a very long look around you find some valuable equipment awesome we already found some crampons and got our first level up now what are we going to look through here oh that's a pretty early hmm reduced energy cost on all terrains that's really good though we're gonna take that and continue on yeah so what you want to really do is while we're down here on the bottom right while we're down here looking around and stuff we really want to try to snag as many of these things as we can because harsh weather isn't too bad down here um it's pretty good pretty decent good weather all the time so you really just want to get as much as you can mountain hair uh well we are officially going to try to murder the hare. Its hind legs are broken. The hare won't survive the night. You generally stroke its fur. Its little heart is pounding, but its heartbeat slows and gradually relaxes the longer you keep it company. Your hand slowly drifts towards its throat. It's thin and bony. There's a quiet cracking sound when you snap its neck. I'm sorry, hare. I'm sorry, but you were, you were hurt. So, I mean, you know, we have to, we have to take you out of your misery, little buddy sometimes i think if i just click here it'll be fine i ah, know it does see see that so this is an example of what i was talking about right it tries to scale you up this too which is way more energy than you really want to use so you want to go up the one two isn't as bad as like a, a four or a three like those are big ones that you really don't want to do but if you can avoid the two you might as well avoid the two right right exactly thank you it's nighttime. It's not too bad. Still would really love to see a temperature gauge down here. I think that would be amazing. Try. We follow the smell, of course. You gotta get the you gotta get those levels. Now it is nighttime, but it's not really. I don't think we need to sleep at this point. What the heck? This looks different. Increase sanity gain in events. Spend more time when moving, but ignores dangerous terrain. I don't like spending more time. Reduced energy cost on stone. I'm going to take open-minded. Let's get that sanity gain going. Okay, so... We've got a lot of stuff. I probably want to snag that. How would you take me over there? You'd take me down one, down one... Cross. That looks decent. We could probably 
make do with that. And we're probably going to loop back over here and go try to sleep through some of the sh snowy weather. Spiders. We reach into the hole. Spiders get her over us, but we're not affected too badly. And we got a thermos with hot tea in it. That's that's the kind of you, you want to take the risks. So first off in this game, I've noticed a lot of people you want to take every single risk especially early because the experience gain and the abilities are a huge part of this game like it's way way bigger part than you might think like they're a huge part yeah there's no better way up other than this to climb that's fine but you want to take those it's just important uh, at least on normal i don't know on anything else yep definitely step on your thing we've already read these by the ways where we're not reading them if i see a new one i will read them if I don't, I am not going to. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with the passives for now until I see one that I really like. Okay, so we're going to loop back over in that direction. Because we want to go up there. Now remember, we're saving this for tomorrow when it's stormy and then we'll rest tomorrow probably in that cave over there after we snag these two things and then hopefully that'll get through the stormy weather wait stop 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 it took me an awkward route i couldn't i didn't i didn't see where it was taking me okay well this is weird to look at at the moment I want to get over to here, but we don't want to do that. Like, I mean, like, just see how much energy that takes off. Um, there's someone right outside my window, by the way. Sorry if you can hear people. That looks like a decent route. All right, we're going to activate this and go because our plan is to try to sleep during the night. And this gives us minus 35% time and plus two body temperature while moving. This is for three hours, so which is pretty good. You'd like to get that ex excess body temperature, especially while it's storming and you're going to be losing body temperature. But see how like little energy we used in comparison to moving the other way that it wanted us to, even with the climbing axe, which helps with that stuff. Even with that. And this is kind of a new strategy for me, so I'm not 100% sure if this will work, because we haven't done it. But I am going to be trying to hit all of these events new. Yes. Better. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to hit all these events. Like, look, we're pretty much using, well, through, through all of this, instead of just gush going here, we're pretty much using the same amount of energy what he used from over there to over here by making our own path. Cans. Um, let's collect the snow and put out the fire. We're not gonna stomp on it. Stomping on it could hurt us, is the thing. Your fingers feel numb, but you've gathered enough snow to distinguish the flames after search of the area. Make sure the owner's not in the crevasse. You take the cans and move on. We actually haven't ever put the snow on there. We've always, as far as I remember, we've always snagged, or we've always stamped on it. And we've always stamped the fire out, stomped the fire, whatever you wanna say. I'm gonna say stamped, because it's more fun. Am I wrong? Maybe. Do I care? No. No, I don't. Alright, what do you got for me? It's a shrine. We'll definitely take energy, because we definitely don't need health. And see, like, how much that refill... Like, that's that's incredible, isn't it? Like, we were low, low, quote-unquote, on energy, and now we're full energy. And all this is, like, the one steps down. Yeah, it wanted me to climb straight down, but no, we're not going to do that. Get over here right after nighttime falls which is great and we'll sleep in the cave it will be cold tomorrow but it won't be stormy which is good all right hello cave you enter the cave we lie down for a sleep definitely sleep long gonna take up this entire nighttime get a little bit of body temperature back and our energy back which is great actually we don't really need that much energy but yeah now, I can't see, but I will be able to see once I step here. There we go, okay. 
So we don't have a way really down in that direction. So we're going to go this way and check out where we're going next. And remember, we're saving this for if we have to travel at nighttime in the cold. Tomorrow's a clear day, so we kind of do want to use it today if we need to. Oh, this is awkward. Um, will that be worth it or should I go? Okay, so if this uses about uses seven energy. So if I wanted to go, it's four energy. That is a lot less energy. Yeah. So if we go that way, we can head like in this direction. Yeah. We're still not, we're still not using seven energy. From here to here was seven energy. We're still not using seven energy. Like that's. It's pretty crazy, right? Like, the, the difference it makes when you plan your route as opposed to just taking the route the game suggests. That It's something that, that takes a little bit to realize if you're a little slow like me, but once you do realize it, you're like, yeah, that's definitely something you should be doing. Even if, even if you have the gear. Like, even if you have the gear that, tell, that, that takes the time away, still takes the energy, not the time. Okay, stuff anywhere we've got most of the low down stuff looks like the next stop is that shrine right up there let's see how it wants me to get up there looks like it's all ones might as well then no harm in doing that now this will obviously take longer to get up the mountain this way but it's worth it <laughs> it's definitely worth it now we're gonna have to climb here because we did choose to go this route, and this is a, this is a big climb. But we do have this, and also this next. So, well, here we go. We can get sanity or warmth from the eagle. I like to get warmth. Sometimes sanity is good. Um, yeah, I mean that's the only way up now. Let's go. So it's gonna use a big chunk of our energy, fourteen energy, to get from there to there, but. That's okay. Follow the light and you'll get sanity from the fireflies. Beautiful. And XP. XP is the big part. Now we do lose a lot of it, a lot of stuff here, but we're getting closer to the clear day. So I like to use the full time, especially to push to a clear day. We lose body temperature, but you can get back body temperature. Okay. So if I wanted to go here, it would be rough. But we will, I, I kind of want, I've never really taken the left path, so I might just do it, honestly. I think I am. I think I am going to just do it. I think I'm going to try to take the left path this time. I've never taken it. I've always taken the right path. And I don't believe the mountains are procedurally generated. The events are, I don't think the mountain is itself. Unknown fruit. You know what? Let's eat a berry. Slightly tart, but refreshing. And we got all that energy back that we used and a level up. Whenever you reach a POI... Oh, I've never seen that one. Whenever you reach a point of interest, gain some energy. That could be really cool. Or reduced energy loss. I'm going to take efficiency. Because there's, there's a time... There's a lot of times where we've hit some events and we've not been able to do them because we don't have the energy. Which has always sucked. Well, we're going to there. We got to climb up this to get there. So let's go ahead and do it. It'll be a clear day tomorrow. So we'll recover some of our warmth. So no, not too many worries there. You don't really want to rest a clear day away is the thing. But we will go here to see if there's an event inside of here. Yeah, I've never been on this side of the, the this crevasse. Let's just go ahead and leave the cave then. And daytime! We should be gaining. Yep, gaining body temperature now. Attack. Oh yeah, so this is you can either help the hunter out or you can take his pack. You get some stuff. Uh helping the hunter take some energy. 
but I don't. He, last time he didn't give me. Maybe we'll see if he gave me anything. Hunter's also disappeared. Yeah, see, the hunter just disappears and we just take damage. And I don't like. I don't. I don't like helping him. Like even though I probably would try to in real life, I hate doing it in not real life because you get hurt for it. Wait, you got to climb up to that get that? Okay, well we might not be doing that. We'll see. Now, I don't know if this is the correct choice to go back this far to get stuff. I don't think it's that far, honestly, but there's stuff over here, man. You got, I think you got to go for it. It's early. You're still, you got two clear days in a row. Like, if you're going to do this, I'm saying, oh, another spider event. Let's go. What did we get? We got a warm cap. Awesome. Body temperature go up. All right, so that's not too bad. We're not going to go back for this, just so you know. <laughs> it's just not worth it to climb that big, steep climb it's probably it might it, it's probably worth it to do the one and then the two here probably ruins thoroughly search the tents you find two oxygen tanks that is huge oxygen is extremely important in the dead zone so if you can get oxygen you're having a good time <clears throat> Even though we do have clear, you still don't, if you don't have to move at night, I guess you don't really want to move at night, if that makes sense. Um, it's just colder, you do lose body temperature faster, even though we have the warm cap and everything and it's clear, still losing body temperature. I should have definitely climbed up that, I didn't see it was a two, my bad. Let's explore. Step into the darkness. You can still get stuff, by the way, even if it's too dark. You just have, you can just try. Um, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. If it works, it's awesome. You find food a lot of times. If it doesn't, you generally just get experience and no negative, so. XP good. Weakens the effects of stormy weather. Meditation event, what is this? I have to take it, I've never seen it. I have to, what are you? Meditation, you stop and focus your thoughts on the very essence of your existence. We have to meditate intensively. I feel much better after meditating. Health regain. Health up. Sanity up. XP. What? That's really cool. Never have I seen that. All right. One second, guys. I will be right back. All right. Sorry about that. The, uh lawn care guy came and I had to make sure Ghost was put or wasn't able to get outside, not put away just not able to get outside, he does not like strangers so yeah better for everybody if he just stays inside <laughs> also I would do my own mowing but my allergies are so bad like I, I, like, I break out really bad if I do my mowing so I unfortunately don't and music one just big sanity and XP boost which is awesome, alright so we are on an annoying area here with double bad ice, but that's okay. We'll probably save this ability for the cold day. Now I feel like this just increased our temperature and stuff. Like it didn't have any negative. I don't know if that is different, like if you're outside or something. Ruins, thoroughly search them even though we take a big tent. Oh my goodness. The game, it loves us, friends. At the moment, it loves us. Will that change at some point? I am sure. I am sure that it will. But for now, we're good. So if I go here, do I want to go there first? Yeah, I'll go there first. Fine, we'll go. We'll go there first. It's okay. If we rest in the tent today, we'll actually get some temperature back. If we rest in it tomorrow, we won't. Actually, it might go into the cold, so we might not get it tomorrow. Oh, I never noticed that. It um tells you how much time passes. No event in here. So yeah, we would lose some body temperature. Well, we want to gain body temperature, not lose it. So let's go. Gain that. Okay, let's go ahead and... 
snag this and then come back down and snag this oh wait there is a way to actually get up there with only one steps not to get up there not to get up this one with one steps but to get up that one i think we're making decent progress okay so this one i've never third i don't think i have i thoroughly i didn't think i had time to thoroughly search the wreck last time you find an item oh my god The game is making me happy. I'm gonna take the enthusiasm. I feel like they've changed that, man. All right, um, I'm gonna wait till it's nighttime and then see what the meditation event will really do for me. I wanna see if you actually regain temperature meditating in the open at night and cold or if you lose temperature when you're doing it at night in the cold. I'm, inter I'm I'm interested to see what the mechanic would be. Rescue. Oh, we can finally do this. We can finally search the deer stand. As you rush the deer stand, the rumbling of the avalanche crescendos to a deafening volume. You're still some distance away from your destination when the mass of snow comes thundering down the slopes and tears the deer stand as though it were made of paper. The avalanche misses you by mere feet. Ha ha. Success. We're too good to get hit by an avalanche shrine um you know what let's snag our health there that seems fine you may hear ghost bark some you may hear somebody mowing i'm sorry if so it's gonna be loud for a minute they shouldn't be near my window for very long but you know what actually i might just cut right here and come back i'll cut right here and come back when i don't hear them anymore all right um i can't hear them as much anymore which is good. I'm wondering if that's worth it. Okay, actually, we're going to test the meditation. That's right. So you would lose a lot of body temperature if you were to do it this way. Um, I'm still going to do it because I've never... Oh, what? No way. So we... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to go this route, by the way. Um, just because I want this, and there's no other way to get it. That's, so, meditation is amazing, actually. And the 24 hours starts when you use it. And they're back mowing. I'm going to go through it this time. Oh, well. She sits in a crooked hut. Let's take warmth from her. Of course, we like to be warm. Alright, we're back. I got way too loud. I saw how much it was spiking. So, I'm wondering if I'm going to go... Which way? If I wanted to go to here, ugh, no, not that way. I tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. We'd have to go down here. Actually, let's see. Okay, so if if we wanted to go this way, if I wanted to take the way it said, it would use twenty-seven energy and a body temperature. If we wanted to go a good way. Um, it would take 21 and 10. A lot more hazards, though. That's okay. We'll go. Health is a resource. Use it. I want to go this route, I think. I've never been that route, so. Although our goal is to win. But yeah, as I was saying, um... So meditation, the timer, the 24-hour timer starts when you click the button. So if you take the six hours to meditate, the timer is only actually 18 hours. And it gives you energy, health, and temperature. And I think sanity and XP. Deep Snow will take the, take the hit there on body temperature. Unfortunate, but it's not really. You know, I don't really have a choice. <laughs> you can loop around that way too. Crazy. Hello there. Camp. Search the camp. We got some climbing gloves. We already have climbing gloves. We're going to leave them. Okay. Let's head in this direction. We'll start regaining um, temperature, by the way, once it turns daytime, because it will be a clear day. 
I could have gone left here, but I think I want to go this direction because I thought I saw like a cave or something up that way. Maybe I didn't, but if I did, that would be cool. We're nearing the dead zone, but we're not quite there yet. This is a lot of two-step climbs. Dead Mountaineers. Oh, these are the people for the, the, the same symbol, yep. So the people we just searched, their camp. That's the route we're going. It's the only route through. So this is all snow and ice. Yeah, just pull yourself. It's fine. It's fine. We could have actually let, taken the temperature loss and the time loss there. But nope. <laughs> I did not want to. All right. Wow, look at the... Uh, stuff back there. I might actually go that route, honestly. Okay, follow the smell. Could be bad things, but it's not. Let's go ahead and get some temperature and energy back, even though we go into the night, it's fine. Level up. Oh, wow. I feel like they changed the level ups. Does anyone else think that? I definitely think that. I like this route. And before we go to the cave, we're actually gonna stop there and meditate and then I think take a long rest. I think that's a nice way to kind of game, the, not game the system, I mean, just use the mechanics, but I, I don't like saying game the system. I feel bad sometimes. Ow! I got hit by a stone. In the chest. How dare you. Old Pittens. This is where... This is the event that saved us last time. Because we found a tent. Yes, places to provide shelter. And a resource. There we go. Okay, so... I th I'm going to take the risk. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to meditate. I meditate intensively. You feel much better after meditating. And when I move now, I'll gain body temperature. Wonder, what a sight. Northern Lights. Nice. I think that's the first time I've seen that one. Though I can't remember. Now it's looking a little precarious going up this. I think we would want to go up that route if we could. Cave. Lie down and sleep. We're going to try to push through the night time here. So sleep long. And notice how we use our last of our body temperature right. But it's okay. Because. We um. So that's all bad because we don't you don't trigger bad events while you're doing that. Let's go ahead and use that. It's looking like we're just no. Head up the mountain. Let's go. We are going to be low on body temperature, but tomorrow is a clear day. So if we can make it to tomorrow, we will be OK. Basic values, warm cap, night, yeah. Yeah, a lot of two climbs here. What are you doing? Don't stop. No, stop it, stop it. And we are about to enter the death zone. There it is, death zone. So we can ascend slowly for decreased oxygen or we can ascend quickly. I'm going to ascend quickly to try to keep my energy up. Just make our way up here and see what we can see. So I do think we want to make it to that cave if possible. Ow. Oh, of course, we just twisted our ankle, which is plus 50% energy on all. 
At least it's not time. Time might be worse. So we would go critical. It says we'd go critical, but we're only going critical for like one step is the thing. So let's see. 2.7. I think we'll take the 2.7. Because I'm pretty sure once we hit clear weather, which is like only one step after, we should be gaining temperature. Yep, and we are. And we are. Fantastic. Let's explore the tunnel. Let's, if you have a torch, by the way, you will find whatever's in here. We did lose some oxygens because it took time. That's okay. We don't actually gain temperature in here, obviously, which is kind of crazy to me. We're instantly losing our temperature as well. Let's go ahead and do a meditate. No temperature back. That sucks. Um... I like consumable expert quite a bit. We might be using the tent to get some some body temperature back here, man. Trading in oxygen for body temperature. We do have two tents, so like, I mean, we should use them. I'm guessing. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And we have four oxygen things, I think, if I remember correctly. Three or four. I know we have at least three. I think. Maybe we only have two. I don't know. I love I say I know I know we have at least three. Okay, maybe it's only two. Sometimes I forget, okay. I guess this is when we start heading upwards, my friends. Wreck. Okay, so this. I want to search it. We just got another oxygen tank. Okay, so we're going to suck on the oxygen tank. And then we're going to use our tent again. We're not going to get any temperature back if we use our tent here. Are you serious? Well, in that case... We're headed up to here. We're going to take some hits to our health here. We ran out of temperature really fast. And actually not something I expected to happen. Wiggle my toes, warm myself up. Colder and colder. It's a big hit. I'm going to hit this and then I think I'm going to meditate. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna take the. Let's go ahead and take the oxygen hit and meditate up. Not getting anything good back, unfortunately. I mean, you don't really have much choice. You kind of just gotta go at this point. Our temperature is gonna be a problem. But shrines can sometimes have the answer to the problem. Critical. Ow. Take the hit. I think it's up and then... Yeah. Frostbite. Put my hands under my armpits. Get some... That bad. There we go. Now we're not critical anymore. Shrine. You couldn't have given me some, some, some stuff in that. I think it loops up if you go to the left. So I think that might be the route we take. Okay. 
Give me something, something, something good. It's a wolf set. Oh no, it's a wolf set. I'm not going to stay this time. Um, I mean, I don't really feel like I have much of a choice, honestly. <laughs> we could have climbed straight up, but it would have, and we have the energy. Maybe that was just the play to climb straight up. All right. If we can dodge this, we might not take a hit here. <laughs> okay. That's good. No wolf inside. Get some sanity back and some XP. This does nothing for us. Okay, well. <laughs> so I can do that, <laughs> but it would be bad for our energy. The better idea, I mean, I guess I could do that now. Maybe out of oxygen at that point. It's like the only route I have up. And this does not help. And we don't have anything for Man, we're just getting we just got really really screwed on temperature on this one, I think. Jump up and down. Managed to slip. Oh well, we got some <laughs> we got some body temperature back, right? Looks like the route we're going at the moment. Um, I mean, we'll be fine on oxygen. <laughs> Not too scared on that one. Right, let's go this way. Doesn't loop up much more. We had a kind of a rough first mountain there. Actually, you know, it's not too bad. We do still have resources and tents and stuff, but we're not even done yet. It's it's definitely not a great one, definitely not a great first mountain. So we're gonna have to make a climb up. It looks like. I think this route. Yeah no. Okay. So I mean, we either go this way. Oh, no. We either go this way, or we go this way this way both of them are equally as bad and boop all right there you go and go don't let a little thing like a giant rock wall stop you now you can do it Climb the whole thing. Easy peasy. This is going to give us like a huge amount of temperature. Nope. Oh, it is actually. Yep. I forgot. Eagle is temperature. Good. I like that one then. Once we get out of the death zone, we're probably not going to meditate again in the death zone. That is a big climb. But we made it. And we have already read the first summit for this. If you would like to read it, go ahead. And the goal now is to get down to the bottom. Okay. Well, I'm surprised we didn't level up there. What is the best way down? I mean, I can't really see is the thing. That's the best way down. The only problem is we run out of energy. I'm gonna. I'm going to get to the bottom, and then I'm going to eat a snack. Yeah, that first 
summit climb's kind of a doozy at the end for energy. Oh, really? Come on. Let's rest. Resting was bad. Resting was bad. We are out of body temperature. This didn't matter at all. Um, give me body temperature, please. Spin some body temperature. No, dude, no, I'm good. Don't have many ways to get down. We'd run out of oxygen, but we'd get some. All right, you know, do it. We've got we've got the oxygen to suck on. It's okay. of the oxygen suck there all right so i think the best way down is that way Let's see what that takes us yeah that has like has to be like the best way down let's get out of this death zone shall we we got two clear days in a row don't mind if i take advantage of that We just gotta go down. It's not really where we've chose this side and not that side. So this is the route we're going. I mean, you could go all the way through the snow and then down there, I guess. But then you'd have to go that way. I really do wish it wasn't an ability, by the way, to zoom your camera out more. I kind of think that's a little, a little gimmicky. I think you should just be able to, if you need, to, if you want to zoom your camera out more, I think you should just be able to zoom your camera out more. Or you just shouldn't be able to at all. One or the other. The the, the ability is kind of weird. Like, how does it have an ability that lets me see higher above my camera? It just doesn't make much sense. Maybe if there was an item, like a drone, that could make sense. But otherwise, it's kind of just silly, you know? I think you guys agree. You know what would also be cool is if, and it might be somewhere and I might missed it, is if when you click, you can see what height you'll be at. That would be neat. I don't know, just all, all cool little quality of life things, you know? That, that everybody I think would like to see. Limestone cave. Beautiful. Stalactites and stalagmites. We've already had that conversation a million times in the uh, in the comment sections about how you remember stalactite versus stalagmite might top or bottom. So if you want to, go start that conversation again in the comments. If not, that's okay. I'm not going to bring it up again. <laughs> we, we've talked about it extensively to this point. Thoroughly investigate the campsite. Search the provisions. I want to search the provisions this time. I've never searched the provisions. I've always thoroughly investigated it. Then you get like a book and then you get like an event later on, I think is that one. Right, let's go. Lots of climbing down. Big energy uses. Nearly out of the death zone. Once we get to this like valley area, we'll be out of the death zone, which will be nice. No, don't take that route. Just just go that way and then we'll see what happens. Here it comes. Out of the death zone. Oxygen recovery. Yay. Rough stone. Smacks us in the chest. Of course it does. Wish I had a helmet. I just got an achievement for that. It's funny. Okay, the thing is, I think I can meditate. Gigantic footprints. Oh, we don't have the thing to jump to the other side. Let's climb. What do we get? Heavy boots. 
energy cost on stone. Nice. Okay, so I think I can meditate here is the thing. And it'll take us, yeah, it'll take us into the daytime on a clear day, which means our, our stuff will go up. Look at that. just planning my route to the finish basically yeah that's pretty much it let's go that is pretty much the route we are taking maybe we'll get some energy from one of these and we'll be happy um make the crack bigger we hurt ourselves of course we did. If you make the crack bigger, you can get the stuff that's inside of it a lot of the time. Didn't work for us this time around, though. Explore the tunnel. Aw. Get some nice recovery there. It'll take us in a night time, but that's okay. Because now, we have enough to make it to the end. Even though it takes us into night. Go, we're short. We good at things sometimes. Stop, 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 stop. There we go. I realized that, that I could do this instead. Which would be one dangerous terrain, but that's okay. Shrine. We could get health or warmth. Right, just give me the warmth. We'll be okay on health, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Deep snow. Cross the bridge. Crossed it safely. Haha. -ha. You thought you were gonna get me, but you didn't. <gasps> the Saint Bernard! Hello, little puppy! Walking stick. I love the walking stick. Gain more body temperature per hour when moving. Yes, please, and thank you. Now, we're definitely going to get hit with a dangerous event through here. There is just so many triggers. Like, I would be extremely surprised if we could dodge them all. Well, maybe. Oh my, look at that. We actually did pretty much dodge them all. That's pretty sick. All right, bottom of the mountain. Pretty much full on everything, too, which is great. That's awesome. Our toes are frozen, though. If energy and time cost, that's okay. That's going to do it for this episode, though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was an okay first mountain. Honestly, it took us a long time, but it was okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button. And the bell helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.